the problem statement from gate physics 2014 paper reads as follows a low pass filter is formed by a resistance r and a capacitance c the cutoff angular frequency omega c equal to 1 by rc the voltage gain and phase of output voltage relative to input voltage respectively r we are given four options and each option contains a value of voltage gain and the phase with respect to the input voltage uh, we need to find the correct option uh, before we start solving this problem let's look at some related concepts what is a low pass filter as the name suggests it's a filter which allows only certain frequencies to pass through in this case it allows only low frequencies to pass through what does that mean that means that the value of v out will be high only when the applied frequency is less than some cutoff frequency which we call as omega c and v out will be low when the frequency applied is greater than some cutoff frequency omega c now what is this cutoff frequency omega c we'll see in a while but this is the this is the definition of a low pass filter on the contrary a high pass filter would be when v out is high when frequency applied is greater than some constant frequency omega c the cutoff frequency and v out is low when the frequency is less than some cutoff frequency omega c this is our high pass filter now another way of expressing the v out is the ratio of voltage gain which is defined as v out over v in so we can say that if gain is high above certain frequencies and gain is low below certain frequencies we have a high pass filter high pass filter similarly if the gain is high below a certain frequency and low above a certain frequency we call them a low pass filter so both these expressions are for low pass filter now this is a circuit diagram for a low pass filter and we'll attempt to derive an expression for the voltage gain so our aim here is to find the expression for gain remember gain is defined as v out over v in right and we'll assume that the input voltage is is an oscillating uh, input with a frequency omega so v in is dependent on omega okay now uh, we know that when 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 oscillating when oscillating inputs are involved we can transform uh, impedances we can transform resistances and react uh, capacitances to something called reactances and impedances so i'm going to write an alternative circuit this is the same circuit it's just that we are writing it in frequency domain that's it so this is v out this is ground this is v in this is r and i can write this as 1 over j omega c the purpose of writing this is that now i can simply apply my ohm's law curve of voltage law curve of current current law very easily with this circuit so let's do that uh, let's let's apply the ohm's law across okay now first let's assume a current i is flowing through this circuit in this direction and obviously the same current i will flow here also okay now let's write ohm's law across r so ohm's law says the potential drop across a resistor which is in this case v v in minus v out is equal to current passing through the resistor which is i 
times r. Similarly, I can say that across capacitor C or the reactance Xc, whatever you may want, I can write as V out minus 0, that's the potential drop, equal to I, the current passing through the uh, admittance and times the reactance which is 1 over j omega c. So this is the expression now I got so I can find the value of uh, I from here which is V in minus V out over R and I can also find the value of I from here which is j omega c times V out. Now I will equate these two expressions because both of these expressions are for the current I. I can write V in minus V out over R equal to j omega c times v out remember omega is the frequency of oscillation of the input signal now rearranging some terms i can write v out into 1 plus j omega rc is equal to v in which gives me the expression v out over v in as 1 over 1 plus j omega rc now this is the gain we were required to find the gain and we have arrived an expression of gain right so this is the gain for this low pass filter which is drawn here so we were given a low pass filter and this is the circuit for a low pass filter a resistor and a capacitor uh, where v in is the input voltage and we will assume that the uh, uh, frequency is denoted by omega the cutoff frequency has been given as one by rc and we know the expression for the voltage gain is 1 over 1 plus j omega rc this is the expression that we have seen earlier now uh, so what we are required to find is that we need to find v out over v in at omega c equal to 1 by rc and we also need to find the phase of v out over v in so let's do that let's let's just simply so this is the magnitude and phase so we'll just simply plug in the value of omega c so we'll see v out over v in at omega equal to r c omega yeah that would be 1 over 1 plus j 1 by r c into r c so that is 1 over 1 plus j if i rationalize it it will be 1 minus j over 2 um, yeah so i can write 1 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2 j now if I, if I want to find the magnitude of this uh, complex number i can simply take this so that would be square root of 1 by 2 square plus minus 1 by 2 square which would be um, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 which would be 1 by root 2 that would be 0 0.707 and if I want to find out the phase of this quantity, so I will do uh, tan inverse the imaginary part which is minus 1 by 2 divided by the real part which is 1 by 2. So that is tan inverse of minus 1 so which will come out to be minus 45 degrees. So we see that now we, in, in this plot so this actually corresponds to 3 dB if you convert it into uh, decibels so which is uh, in decibels we can say 20 log magnitude of v out over v in so if you put in this value that's 20 log 1 by root 2 so this will come out to be minus 3 db which we see this that uh, during the pass band the gain is zero however at the cutoff frequency this is cutoff frequency 1 by rc cutoff frequency is 1 by rc at cutoff frequency the gain drops by 3 db approximately 3 db and this is also known as 3 db point which you see here Afterwards, the cutoff frequency, the gain drops as 20 dB per decade. What do you mean by per decade? So you see, this, since this is a log scale, so frequency is jumping 10 times between uh, between this between this vertical line and this vertical. So there is an order of 10. That's why we call it a decade. And we see the value is changing. So it goes from minus 20 to minus 40. So th that's why the slope is minus 20 dB per decade. Um, so yeah, so we were required to find the magnitude and the phase at cutoff frequency we have found the magnitude to be 0 0.707 and the phase to be minus 45 degrees so the correct option would be minus so this is the correct option minus 0 0.707 has been rounded off and the phase we find out to be minus 45 degrees
थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग